Hobby Lobby. What are we doing at Hobby Lobby? Getting supplies for my classroom. And what do you hope to find? I want my theme to be foresty, succulents, green, just like a very homey, nice, minimalistic environment. So I hope to get things of that nature. is the back of my car right now. I did not put things in in an organized manner, but it's just life. First things first, a welcome sign. I got this welcome sign from Joanne's Fabrics. I think it's so cute. I think it's really gonna like set the mood and the atmosphere of the classroom. It was originally $29.99 and it was discounted 70% off, so I got it for $9. The second thing that I got from Joanne's was this plant. It was originally $34.99 and it was 70% off as well. And I love the leaves. Like I feel like so many fake plants have like that clothy material for the leaf and then like a plastic piece for the stem, but this one has like a nice like rubbery lifelike leaf I feel. Uh, the next store I got things from was one of my favorite stores to buy everything from and that is TJ Maxx. So this pot was originally $17 from TJ Maxx and I got it for discounted for seven and I'm going to put a real plant in this um, and put it in the corner of the classroom. This next thing I got from TJ Maxx, I always told myself I wouldn't get this because I see these everywhere and I just feel like it's overdone. But now that I'm teach a teacher, I just had so many ideas of different things that I could write on a letter board. Oh, well then on the back it says fresh and original. So it kind of goes with the wooden plant theme that I'm going for. I think it'll be fun to like write Happy Thanksgiving or you got this on exams and just fun little things like that. I feel like it does the extra step rather than just writing on the whiteboard. And go Elks, obviously our mascot is the Elks, but because it's wooden and not felt like some of the letters are like wobbly here, so I got a stand for it and this stand was from the dollar store. A lot of teachers use this next door so it's not like anything new, but the Target dollar spot. So I got this watering can and it was $3, obviously I'm going to use it to water the plants, but I think it's really cute decoration as well. The next thing I got is this little wreath, um, I think it'll be really cute to have like W-E-L-C and then use this as the O-M-E like welcome or I don't know I could just hang it in any sort of random spot but this is three dollars I also got this greenery branch and it was three dollars as well I'll probably get a vase maybe from the dollar store or something to send these next two little guys were three dollars a piece and I think they're so cute there's something about I feel like there's no such thing as too many plants it doesn't create like a cluttery environment it just creates more of a foresty feel. Does that make sense? Like rather than adding clutter, it's adding more to the feel of the room. So I think these would be really cute just to like sit on the edge of the whiteboard or any sort of like small space. This is a poster that looks like notebook paper. It's dry erase. I got this one as well as these small dry erase stickers and I'm going to use one of the two of them to show them how to head like different types of papers like warm-ups for exams, those types of things. I have two sides of the room that I'm going to be working from. One side has the smart board as well as a whiteboard, and the other side over here has a whiteboard as well as a bulletin board. So I wanted to have one of these for either side. It has that same um, notebook paper pattern as the other one, and I like it because it's kind of something different and fun to change the date. If you ask anyone, they know I'm really bad at names, so obviously I'm going to preface that whenever I talk to them and do my best to learn their names regardless, but I got these three name tags and I'll have them keep it under their seat until like the first month or so. And I'll also call out roll after that that helps memorize obviously face to their name. So this one says, hello, my name is, it has a cute little rainbow. This one says name in a composition notebook style. And this one says, hola, mi amo, and then a little llama. Teachers have told me that they often need clips to hang like papers or flyers or different things. So I got these two ruler clips. 
flip strips they're called. It's hard to find math based decorations so I was really glad to find these two clips. These were $3 a piece. This next thing, I feel a little vain getting it for myself but here we are. Teachers rule because teachers do rule. And again with the ruler print, right now I have the letters for the welcome sign inside of there. I don't know if I'll keep it like that. This is the last thing I got from Target. It says blank days until. So I have chalk in the room. So I'll probably write days until exams, days until Christmas, maybe days until summer. Just like a big thing coming up. I do need to get another one because I realized I have two classes. I'm teaching algebra as well as eighth grade math. So if I'm gonna do an exam, I'm gonna need to have two of them. So it was only $3, I'll have to go back and get another. This next thing I got from Walmart, it says stuck on you, it has a little cactus on it. And I probably, it's a planter, but I probably won't put a plant in it just because I think that's kind of funny, like there's a plant on it and then there'll be a plant in it. So I'll probably use it for pencils or, you know. I got these little leaves from Old Time Pottery and then I was just gonna keep my eye out for bases for them. So the first thing I got at Hobby Lobby were these little bases and I love it because they're not glass. It was $11.99 but 75% off it was what? $3, less than $3. The next thing that I got were these cookie jars. So this one was originally $20 and I got it for $2.99. And I'm gonna use it to put, again, pens, pencils, things like that. And then this one was originally $30, and I got it for $7.49, so this one I'll use for rulers. They're not going to use the lid. I was thinking I could use this as like a stand for something. Probably at my house, I'll use it for my home decor, but for a candle or something, I think that's really cute. So this next thing I got was glass, but it wasn't expensive and it's super cute. It's going on my desk. This is uh, $2.99, and it's a little cactus or a tall cactus and a short cactus. This one was $1.74. And I'm just gonna sit them on the edge of my desk. This next thing I think is my very favorite just because I think it's so pretty and cute. It's this little tree. It was originally $35 and I got it for $8.74. It's obviously missing a pot, so I was on the hunt for a pot and I found this cute little fake basket thing. It was $9.99, 75% off, so that's $2.50. And I'll have to glue it in, maybe put dirt in it, we'll see. Uh, but I just think that looks so cute. It's so cute, I love it. I'm in love with it. The last things are all signs that are gonna be going on the wall. The first sign is this uh, sign for 349. Obviously, it goes with my aesthetic and my theme. This next sign goes with the classroom. It is 749. Obviously, my walls are navy blue, and this kind of ties in the navy blue and plant theme together. The last sort of like poster or wall hanging thing I got was this one. It's huge. I think it looks great. And with all the things that I got to hang on the wall, they don't have glass in it. So if a kid knocks it over or whatever, it won't shatter all over the place. And I got it for $13.74. The very last thing I got to create my classroom was this Old Town Clock. It has Roman numerals for numbers, which is very mathy. And then it was originally $80, and I got it for $20. That's all as far as my classroom decor haul. I'm really excited to get things hung up and get everything to start feeling like my very own classroom. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.